Howdy, and welcome back to some more Undertale. I'm Flowey, and Grim's is not present, so fuck him. No, greetings, everybody. I'm <laughs> um, hello, my dear folks, viewers, fans. I don't have any fans. We have five left, so that's something. Um, this episode is going to be... Very similar to the one in Snowden Forest, where I'm gonna go around like an idiot for 1500 hours Trying to find every single monster um, Now Joel told me that there is a place in every single um, Region where all the enemies can spawn, but I don't know which one it is So I'm basically gonna before he heading onwards I'm gonna be sure that I've killed the remaining five. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, we're gonna have that Undyne thing soon, where we're gonna, um, um, you know, fall off the bridge, we get that uh, black flashback, and then we're gonna fight the uh, dummy and all that. So I think that would be okay. I think we can do that, and uh, that wouldn't mean that we have gone too far. Because you saw that, you know, official Duck Studios, um, yeah, bird. He can take us back over here. So in case we missed enemies in this place, we can just go back. Uh, but for now, to be safe, we're just gonna go like this one more time and um, see if we can find anyone. Now, uh, let's see. If I remember correctly, I played this music we're hearing right now in much higher speed, but. From what I remember, I don't didn't hear anything different. Oh wait a second! I need a timer, and now my phone is ringing. Um, right. So now I can't concentrate because the phone is ringing. Uh, fucking phone! Okay, uh, I, I I already forgot what I had talked about. I'm I'm not joking here. Um. I mean, we can go back, we can kill enemies, uh... Fuck, I'm not very good at commentary. Or concentrating. Uh, look at that guy. It's so sad. Yeah, I guess it wasn't... ...something important that I thought about. But who gives shit? Uh, today is... Hello. Yeah, yeah, ready. Let's go. So today is um, June 8th, 2016, a uh, very horrid day for me, lots of bad memories and shit, uh, not good at all. So I'm not doing very well this uh, day, and um, you know, I was actually planning on going up to Gothenburg tomorrow and have a, you know, barbecue meetup, but I can't because I'm gonna study English, so fuck my life. Um, so I'm gonna be alone down, down here. Might as well just play Undertale. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Killing my friends. So, yeah, we didn't get any enemy encounters, so I'm just gonna fucking continue instead. Because we can go back. Yes, I do want to see Undyne. Um, good, good. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, so I'm not in the highest of spirits, so this might not be the best commentary I've ever seen. The most interesting, entertaining one, but that's not the point of the series. It's not supposed to be, oh, it's entertaining, oh, cringe is so funny, he's better than PewDiePie. St stop it. That's not what this channel is about. It's about fucking Undyne and killing her. Because she sucks. I'm not even gonna try to dodge him this time. He's a fucking weak no, but... Uh, I really hope I haven't messed up now. So after this, we're gonna fall down to the dummy fight. Uh, I'm already... You know... Unsure, if that's a word. If we're doing the right thing here. Easy peasy. Um... What am I thinking here? Man, I'm having a really hard time concentrating today. What the fuck is this? 
Yeah, I hope I haven't messed it up now, because, you know, if you're gonna do the true genocide correctly, you're not supposed to, you know, go to the next boss without killing all the enemies, because they will say something different. But I wonder, does that... is it the same for Dummy? I mean, do I need to kill all the remaining five before heading to Dummy? I really hope not, because if so, then we are, you know, screwing it up right now. But he's not a major character in the game, so I don't think that really matters. I think it's, you know, Undyne right here. That we need to kill all of them before Undyne. And the end of Waterfall. It's like the end of the ruins and the end of Snowdin. Yeah. Let's see what it says this time. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh? You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Crims? Huh? That's a nice name. My name is Asriel! <laughs> Okie dokie. I think it was the exact same way the last time with Frisk. Uh, five left, okay. Nothing different. I, I'm not gonna save. Just in case. Uh, this boss fight isn't uh, that hard from what I remember, so no worries. And we do have healings. Now there is an N64 up there on the top. Golf club, um, controller. Yeah, that's cool. Computer. Oh yeah, right. We have a healing item in it. Even better. DVD, DVD case for an anime. There's the claw marks. Training dummy. Beat it up. It feels good. <laughs> he had enough of the dummy. But he hasn't had enough of me. Look at that. <laughs> it's still funny. Fool! You think you can hurt me? I am the ghost that live, lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. Not only did your actions cause them to leave their home, but now all of their neighbors are gone too. Despicable. You are the worst person I ever met. I've never been more mad. Blech. My mannequin levels are going off the charts. Oh? Oh, this is new. This is feeling? Eureka! Human, that moment of unbridled emotion. It allowed me to finally fuse with my body. Oh! I'm fully corporeal now. My lifelong dream realized. In return, I guess I won't stomp you. How's that sound? Glad Dummy lets you go. Oh, this music, it's called Anticipation, I think. Wipe that small smile off your face. <laughs> Thanks! I see what the true genocide is doing to me! Oh wow, they didn't. Oh shit. Wow, they really did that. Oh, that's, that's genius, because if it was the same thing, then you know, dummy being mad at me, it's like, yeah, I, I'm gonna kill him either way, it's you know, no big deal. But now, his lifelong dream has been realized. All right, he counted as one. That's uh, that's a good thing. Um, and he's happy, so I just have to kill him. There's no fight. The same thing with Papyrus. There was no fight. It's just... No, we can't go back! Fucking bud! Okay. Uh, Undyne's home. I can't believe I never checked this out. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Okay. Yeah. Man, I, uh, this is not a good day for commentary. I already forgot what I talked about, what I said. I'm feeling very bad here. I mean, both in the game and in real life. I'm feeling like... F filth. <sighs> spider dance. Spider dance. Spider dance. Music sharing forum. Spooky old TV. Nothing, okay. 
And this one locked, of course. No one is here. So this is what true genocide does. It just, you know, there's no fighting involved. They just... They just throw them against you and like, yeah, I'm here for you. You know, I accept the hug. I am sparing you. Um, thank you very much for helping me. And I just gonna straight up kill them when they're not giving any threat at all. Oh, he's here. So you came here. What a treat. You, really? You wanna chat? Should I do this? Fate. Long ago, Asker and I agreed that escaping would be pointless, since we, once we leave, humans would just kill us. I felt a little betrayed when he eventually changed his mind. But now, I think, maybe he was right too. Because after all, even though we never escaped, a human's killing us anyway. Ain't that right? <laughs> I've lived too long to be afraid of something like you. Try it, kiddo. I know you can't here. <laughs> Knowledge like that is the only reason I've survived for so long. Yeah, of course you can't attack someone in the shop. Eh, fight you? Nah, I'm not a hero. Never was. And besides, these old bones aren't fit for fighting anywho. One attack from you and I, then I'd... Well, at least by talking to you, I've bought enough time for some of them to escape. True. I'm not a hero, but I know there's someone out there. Someone who'll never give up trying to do the right thing, no matter what. His name is Frisk. There's no prophecy or legend about anyone like that. It's just something I know is true. That someone like that will strike you down. Uh, can I? Oh, right. I don't expect a discount. Uh, let's see. These one are not better. And we don't need invisi invincibility, so... Speed up in battle? I have no idea what that means. So fuck this shit. Good riddance. Interesting. Um, I'm just guessing here, but that music we just heard was, you know, the shop music, but very, very slow. And um, I can't believe I haven't mentioned this yet, but the name Frisk in Swedish, that basically means healthy or, you know, well-being. Um, you know, in good health. That's what the frisk means in Swedish. Uh, but I don't think yeah, that's um, you know relevant at all to the story or the name. I think it's just frisk for you know that name, that name's purpose. Uh, who knows? But I would like to get an enemy. There we go. Why is your fucking smiley face? Fuck you, Tammy. Fifty go. Nice. So that would mean three left. I guess we can just... Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I haven't messed it up yet because we fight the Temis here. And we, you can't fight them in, you know, that other part. So we gotta kill all the Temis and maybe Auron. I think he's here as well. Because with, you know, Temi and Auron, they're like, oh, I disagree, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, Mole Small, great. Oh, he didn't even want to attack me. Wow, that was a perfect hit. Oh, don't do this music slow as well. Hoi! Welcome to Tem Village! A rich history of Tem. Great, let's see if we can find out anything new. How about this one? One left. Uh, wait with saving. Use the box. Uh, let's see, we don't need this, that. Oh wait, we're gonna meet Undyne soon, so we might need... Well, this music slow is just... How about you? Feeling of being watched. <coughs> very famous. Very. Uh, how about this one? Oh! <laughs> uh, doesn't seem to care. Temflake Premium. That's new, you can't pay for the college. So that, that means that you can't get the armor. Uh, we could get some money, but I don't really see the point. Say hello. And Temi, hi and Temi. I still have a deep history. Go to Tem shop. Boy, okay, nothing different. But that's okay, it's Temis. I mean, I don't really expect anything from them. <laughs> uh, from a human like me. Or well, I'm not even a human, I'm just empty inside. 
Okie dokie. Well, there'll, there will be a save point before Undyne, so there's no worries. We can just go ahead, get the last monster encounter, and there it is! It's at... Oh, how does this work out? We have one left, but we meet two of them. Okay. Whew! He sure is. Very sweaty. Okay, Oren, time to bite the dust. Oh, come on! In the, the water's fine! How can you remain so positive? It's creeping me out. Oh. Nice. How much do we need? 52. That should be it. So I'm just gonna go back and save to be on the safe side. We should get uh, that nobody came, right? Yeah, but nobody came. Alright, we are finished with the waterfall. That uh, went much faster than I thought it would. We didn't have to do that. You know, as we did in Snowed In Forest. No worries. Wow, the music is very low. What's going on? Determination. Sure. But nobody came. Of course not. I'm all alone. So what are we gonna talk about in the meantime? I, I guess I could... I don't know. I could say that, um, you know the song, Undertale? Um, track 71. Uh, the one that plays in um, Home. Um, no, in New Home, I mean. I am uh, still learning that uh, song on guitar, but also on piano, so I can play uh, big parts of the, of the song, both on guitar and piano. And that's nice. Uh, sometimes I wish I could clone myself so I could play it. You know, yeah, I made that um, that song in Synthesia, um, you know, for four hands or multiple hands. And I just wish I could play that. But uh, hopefully I can play it with uh, Derpy, Yoel or someone else at some point in the future. It's like a dream, because that song is more... It, it means a lot to me. I really like... I really, really like it. I love it. It's uh, wonderful, and... It's, it really hits a sweet spot, that song. And I, I love it so much. So I want to play it... In its entirety. In, entire, <laughs> entirety, I don't know. Behind you! Oh, I'm dying, blah, blah, blah. Is the kid gonna come out and save me? Oh, please do, I'm so afraid. What am I ever gonna do? Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. You will finally take the seven back from reality. <laughs> Fuck, I'm tired. Only chance of redemption, give up your soul, I'll tear it from your body. What are you gonna do with that small body? This bitch can get fed up with my... Oh. Undyne! I'll help you fight! <laughs> Yo! You did it! Run us right in front of you! You got front row seats to a fight! Wait, so who is she fighting? <laughs> Good luck telling his parents! They're probably dead already! <laughs> and another layer of uh, I'm alone. Well, I, I know it's like, oh, Krim, stop making yourself a victim. <laughs> yeah, I fuck you. I know that already, but today it seems people in this town are taking the students. <laughs> How do you say that? They graduate. Graduate from, um, from high school. Well, it's not high school, it's gymnasium. I don't know in English. Yeah, I think it's gymnasium. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're they're graduating from that. So a lot of people are partying, walking in parades, riding on cars, getting pissed drunk and, you know, fucking everyone they can find. And I'm just sitting here playing Undertale. Woo! <laughs> 
Oh, this is new. Uh, why didn't I read? In my way. Check. Looks like free XP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't really care. I do, but... Whoa, what? How the... Undyne, you, you're hurt. Hurt? It's nothing. Next time, listen when I tell you to leave, okay? Undyne, I... I'll take care of this. Get out of here. How the fuck did you survive that? You had like 5000 HP. Oh, there we go. It's nothing. No. Somehow, with just one hit, I'm already... Already... Damn it. Papyrus... Alphys Asko, just like that. Fuck's sake, I was expecting a challenge! I want a challenge from Undyne. Because I love Hater and I want a challenge. And you're already dead. I didn't even need to do anything and you're already dead! Or maybe not? No? No? Oh? What? It's splitting apart. Like any instant, I'll shatter into a million pieces. But deep, deep in my soul, there's a burning feeling I can't describe. A burning feeling that won't let me die. This isn't just about monsters anymore, is it? If you get past me, you'll, you'll destroy them all, won't you? Monsters, humans, everyone. Everyone's hopes, everyone's dreams. Vanquished in an instant. But I won't let that let you do that. Right now, everyone in the world, I can feel their hearts beating as one. And we all have one goal. To defeat you, human, no, whatever you are, for the sake of the whole world, I, Undyne, will strike you down. Oh, I thought we were gonna get the boss fight later, I want to save. I want to save, oh, oh, oh! You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. Oh my god, the heroine appears. Mercy! Undying the undying. <laughs> uh, wow, I would like a save, but shit. 99 attack, 99 defense. Heroin reformed by her own determination to save Earth. Holy crap. And it begins easy as shit. Or maybe not. The wind is howling. Okay, so we can't make this uh, any more difficult. We can't challenge her. Oh, this... This is not the, the Spear of Justice song, that's amazing. Okay. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, you're easy. Oh, don't do that. Oh, that's very difficult. Holy crap. Whoa, she does a lot of damage. God damn. Uh, I guess I could survive one more. Okay, this one. Oh shit! They come from different directions this time. That's uh, much harder. Awesome! We're getting the challenge I wished for! Uh, monster candy, there's no point for that. Spider donut. Oh, that's not enough. That's really not good. Okay. Well, this is amazing. This is, this is exactly what I wanted from her. And I might be dying here because this doesn't seem to be very easy. She does a lot of fucking damage. Man, I need to prepare more. Oh, damn. Yeah, that was extremely difficult. I need to prepare myself. Blah, blah, blah. Well, finally the game, I mean, this true um, genocide really gives me a challenge. I was, uh, you know, <laughs> kind of uh, longing for it. Over right back here, right. Uh, we do have a chest over here, so we're gonna get all the best healings. Uh, we can't level up more than this, so we will have to beat her with what we have. So, away with all of you. No, no don't do that. We need... Um, that one, that, that. Yeah, the snowman piece. I'm so stupid. We need a snowman piece. Those heal so much. Uh, the pie heals fully. 
I was not prepared for that. I was, um, you know, expecting to get the fight at the same place as the last time and get the save point before it. But no, uh, this is nice. I like that they changed it up a bit. So, spider cider is nice. Cinnamon bun, good shit. So, let's see. Uh, this one, how much? 34. Awesome. And the pie was... It's not full. Yeah, it's all HP. Nice. We should save it. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do that. It is full HP, so we're gonna get a lot of health later on. And so that it will be mo more um, appropriate for like the last boss. I mean, I don't think Undyne, the Undying is going to be the hardest encounter we get in the true Genocide Challenge. Uh, yeah, play through. If it is the hardest, then it's like, what the fuck, really? Why do you throw the hardest boss already? Uh, 24, nice. In Snowman Peace, it was 45, so it's almost like a full heal. Astronaut Food is 21. And that one was uh, like 34. Okay, good. Uh, let's go and save again. Now, that's kind of annoying that they have the save point so far away from her. Well, what can you do? So we're basically stuck here until we, until we beat her, right? Maybe we should have the invincibility, but we need the, uh, the defense. I think we do. No, maybe? Hmm. We do have the money, so I'm gonna check it out again. So, this gives us, this gives us uh, minus five attack and defense, but our invincibility will be much longer. Um... I'm thinking this is the way to go, actually. Because minus five defense, but for much longer invincibility. If they do stack, which I hope they do, so I'm gonna... Don't you have enough? What? Oh, wait. <laughs> My inventory space. But I think the long invincibility will help out in this fight, because there's so many attacks coming from all over the place, so... We're gonna get it. Let's see how it goes. And it's a little, little bit easier to get perfect hits with the book. Because of, um, you know, we only have two um, attacks instead of three. So, cloud glasses. And Torn Notebook. Nice. Now we should be invincible for a much longer time. Uh, get these out of the way. Get the cinnamon bun. Alright, let's go and save. And now I think I'm ready for Undyne. And we're gonna do that in the next part. So, whoop de doo I will see you there. Um, take care, everybody, and have a great day. Hope you're not disappointed at me, but I don't think most of the people, or the players... Oh, wait, we're not done yet. No, wait, we still already have that. Um, but I, I'm pretty damn sure that most people don't get Undyne the Undying on the first try. I don't think so. Uh, because it's it's really out of the nowhere, uh, unless you go with the guide. If you go with the guide, then fuck you. No, but really now. So, yeah. I don't think I am bad for dying there. That was pretty damn insane. But I like that. I really like a good challenge, and that's what we're getting here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Good thing I saved. After that. But, I mean, so far, this uh, true genocide has been very easy. You know, Toriel Papyrus, Dummy, no boss fight at all. Uh, come to think of it, we haven't had a single boss fight where they fight back at all, so far. So this is the first one, and it's very appropriate, I think, because Undyne, you know, the person she is, or the monster she is, it, it, re it really fits her to be like that, and it was way too easy for her to just die like that from a 24,000 damage attack. And behind you. Okay, so I will see you in the next part, everybody. Take care, and whoop-de-doo.